Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at Mars conjunct Saturn in Sinistry. So this video is for you if you are experiencing this particular aspect with another person in their natal chart. If you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. Mars in our natal charts deals with our ambition, our drive, how we go about getting things. It's our sexual energy as well and it can also be how we handle conflict. Saturn in our natal charts is that authoritative energy. So it really is the energy of hard work, dedication. It could be career. It could be all about really having that structure energetically to get to that end goal. It's that authority energy. It's that authoritative figure, really. So when you have these two energies come in contact with each other, the Mars energy and the Saturn energy, it really depends what kind of relationship this is. I know a lot of the time when people look at synastry, they are looking toward romantic relationships mainly. So if this is playing out in a romantic relationship, well, there could be a lot of push pull energy between the two individuals because Mars as an energy just wants to go. It just wants to start. It's that Aries energy is ruled by Aries. So it's like it just wants to get things started, get things going, whereas Saturn energetically is a little bit more rigid, a little bit more about planning, sitting down, thinking about things, thinking things through. So I can really see this energy playing out in terms of friction energy in a relationship. It could even play out in a way where it's like the Mars person feels like the Saturn person is acting like their parent. Absolutely. It could go into this direction as well. It could definitely be a heavily karmic energy as well because any Saturn aspects a lot of the time are going to be karmic. But at the end of the day, I do feel like all relationships are karmic, so it's really, really hard to say. But in this type of dynamic, it's going to be very, very intense in the sense where it's like there's a lot of rigidity is really, really what it is between the two people. Mars wants to maybe have fun, even in terms of sexuality, like they could be the ones that are like, oh, like let's have a quickie or like let's do this. Like they want to be a little bit more maybe spontaneous or even impulsive energetically. The Saturn person is more serious. It really is that authoritative energy in a natal chart. When we look at Saturn overall in someone's natal chart, usually it's the father the dominant masculine role in your life, the teachers, the managers, anyone who is in that authoritative position. So the Mars person in this dynamic might feel like the Saturn person is kind of killing their vibe in a way, or it's like they might feel restricted by the Saturn person, or it's like maybe their sexuality feels like it's restricted, or like maybe they feel like their goals are restricted if it goes into the shadow sense. Like it really could turn into like maybe the two people resolving something to do with like the father energetically, or like the Mars person at least is resolving something to do with the father. If we look at it karmically, maybe the Saturn person within themselves is resolving that rigidity okay maybe they have to be serious all the time and then the mars person comes through and it's like hey you don't have to be serious all the time like we can kind of step outside of the box or have a little bit of fun that's kind of how these two energies maybe even are initially attracted to each other because maybe the mars person needs a little bit more structure in their life and maybe the saturn person needs a little bit more fun so i can see this energy being a lot of push pull until it eventually neutralizes somewhere in the middle where the two people find a happy medium or at least a balance between the two energies but like maybe in the earlier part of the relationship, like there could be a lot of this like friction energy because the Martian energy within is also your solar plexus chakra in a way. That's how I see it. So it's like your personal power. So I can see this energy very much like neither one of the two people want to give their power away. They don't want to give in to the dynamic. Like it could really go into this headbutting energy, like very much a lot of ego energy. That's important to keep in mind. Like it could really be an ego type of dynamic where it's like a lot of this like friction, but it's like if you guys overcome that and if you're not looking at it from like a romantic relationship, even like sometimes business partnerships can play out well with like Mars aspects I find because it's like a lot of the time Mars energy because it is Aries it is going to be impulsive so it's going to start a lot of things and maybe not finish them so maybe this person who is the Mars person has a lot of great ideas maybe they start a lot of projects but maybe they don't have that discipline within to continue the project so then the Saturn person comes through and kind of brings through that discipline for the Mars person's ideas so this energy could very much play out in this way absolutely where it's like it's a positive thing or it could be vice versa where it's like the Saturn person is maybe too rigid. Maybe they're too much in their routine for like new ideas, or maybe they've just been like working at the same thing over an extended period of time. And then the Mars person comes through, brings through a new perspective or a new idea. And it's like in this dynamic, the Saturn person is going to basically create the longevity of whatever the Mars person's goals are. That's kind of how this energy is going to work because Saturn, once again, is that discipline, is that structure, is that masculine energy within. So you always want to see what's going on in terms of synastry, like with the other person's natal chart, what's happening with their natal chart, what's happening 
happening between the two people in terms of the other placements, the other sinus replacements, how evolved are the two people, at what point in their journeys are they on. Because if there are maybe other romantic placements, this energy could go into a positive direction as well. Absolutely, the two people are eventually going to have to come to some form of agreement. I think any prosperous relationship at the end of the day is about communication. So if the two people are self-aware enough to know these aspects about themselves, they could have the communication to be like, maybe the Mars person says, hey, I need more spontaneity in this relationship. And these are my sexual needs or these are my needs overall in this dynamic. And then the Saturn person might have to release a little bit of their rigidity, okay? It's a very rigid energy when these two energies come in contact with each other. And I do feel like more so Saturn energetically, because it is more so that authoritative energy, doesn't want to give in in a way to the Mars person. So the Saturn person might have to learn a little bit more about compromise if they want the relationship, the dynamic to work, especially if it is like a romantic relationship, because the sexual aspect of things is still a huge part of a relationship at the end of the day. I can really see this energy turning into a lot of sexual tension between the two people, because once again, like it's just like the authoritative vibe that the Saturn person might have. So watching these videos and just having the self-awareness that maybe you are the Saturn person in this dynamic and seeing how can you maybe like release a little bit of the rigidity or maybe the relationship isn't something that you're looking for and you need another individual. Like maybe the two people just aren't necessarily compatible in this area. Like maybe there's just two different of needs that the two individuals need because it's like if the Mars person starts to feel like this sexual tension or their needs aren't being met in this way, well, that could lead to aggression, for example, in this dynamic. It could lead to resentment, for example, in this dynamic. Dynamics. So both people are really going to have to communicate and discuss if it is a romantic sexual relationship to kind of express what the needs, wants, and desires are. And then the Saturn person, like they're going to have to release a little bit of that rigidity if they want this relationship to work. And obviously it depends on the rest of the aspects because maybe there's other aspects that are taking place between the two people and even in their individual charts that is releasing this energy a little bit. But if we look at just the two energies together, it could be a lot of friction. It could be a lot of like the Mars person is kind of more like in their inner child in a way because if you look at mars energy as aries that is the beginning of the zodiac you can look at this energy as like a little kid in a way and then we have saturn which is like the father the authority of the zodiac right like that maturity the mature energy so this dynamic really could go into the direction of like the saturn person looking down on the mars person or feeling like they have to parent the Mars person and so on and so forth. So if it is in the shadow of this energy, obviously you guys are gonna have to explore and see how this even came to be. Like maybe the Saturn person always kind of felt like they had to parent people around them or maybe they were very mature from a very young age. And then the Mars person is coming through and kind of like feeding almost like into this like incompetent wound that like the Saturn person has or like the Saturn person thinks that everyone around them is incompetent or like they have to get everything done. So it's really interesting to see these two energies play out. But once again, if it's like a business relationship or even like a platonic dynamic. Like if there is some sort of end goal that the two people are working toward together and like maybe there's some sort of ambition or like goal in mind, the Saturn person is definitely gonna bring through all of those wonderful masculine energy traits to kind of like hone the Martian energy in in terms of structure, discipline, that, you know, getting things done, okay? So this energy can really, really get things done when it is playing out maybe in this way. But in terms of relationships, like there's gonna have to be a lot of communication between the two people to basically get to the same page and see what is it that the two people need. So with all that being said, I'm gonna wrap up this video here on Mars conjunct Saturn in Sinistry. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.